Now with these ones working backwards, have you found that you usually started with putting the exponent up one if you're working backwards? And then thinking, what number would have to be in front if I brought it in front so that I get a 20? I need to have a 5 there. A 5 just by itself would be a 5x. And we can add 19. I'll do, or, you, or you don't have to. That's why I did it in a different color. But you could add 19 or any number there that you would like. And now we really see why that is. Because, I mean, last time I hadn't supposedly taught you yet that you could do the derivative of each thing separately. But now for sure, we've seen that we can do the derivative of multiple things. And so the derivative of 19 would be 0. So we can really for sure add that in there. All right. So we're not going to take time to do this right now. Because next week, there's going to be lots of time during the week that you can do that. Number 10 is a good challenge question. It'll make you think.